Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is Brock, and today I'm going to be showing you some more about CyberLink PowerDirector 10. Um, if you've noticed, uh, I'm actually using a screen capturing program to do this one, so it will be clearer uh, because last time I was just using my camcorder to record it straight off the screen. So hopefully this should be clear. The only downfall of it is that the mouse will probably be laggy, if you can probably see now. But that's okay. I'll just move it a little slower so that uh, I'll pick it all up. So today I'm going to uh, show you how to add transitions to your videos in CyberLink PowerDirector 10. So uh, open up PowerDirector and uh, get a couple of video files and, uh, and load it into it. I already have a couple here and I'll show you how that you can add titles so uh, first put the videos that you want down in the timeline put them uh, right next to each other and then uh, over here on the left hand side uh, you're gonna have to click this one which is a uh, video clip with a lightning bolt styled icon through it that's your transitions uh, screen so click that and then it will show all of the different transitions you can add. Uh, if you click this arrow right here, it brings up uh, uh, categories of transitions. So you can uh, sort through specific kinds. Uh, you can go to your favorites and you can save uh, to your favorites. Uh, so let's just go to all content and I'll hide that. So here are all the different transitions. You can see it comes with um, a lot of transitions to choose from uh, a lot of very neat cool effects uh, you can probably see a lot of these in my videos I try and mix them up and not use the same kind every in every video so to add these you can just uh, drag it down into the timeline the same way you do with your videos um, if you put your mouse over any of these uh, transitions it will uh, preview what the transition will be a is your first video and then B would be the second video so it's just showing you how it would transition from A to B this video being A and then this video would be B so if we were gonna do this A would go and then the uh, airplanes would go and then it would become video B so all you have to do is drag it down you can put it if you can see it's between the two videos it uh, spans across both of them or you can put it at the end of just one video or at the beginning of another video let me zoom in here so you can see that more clearly so you can see how that uh, it outlines it yellow where it spans across both videos there. And if you drag it over to one side, it'll just be at the end of this video or just at the beginning of this video. So if you want it to just transition between the two videos, uh, I recommend just put it between the two. Uh, the only uh, situation you would really need to put it on just one video is if this were your last video and um, a uh, sequence of videos you were creating or if this one here was your first video. So let's just add this between them. Now play through. And you can see now you have a transition. You can uh, edit the length of these transitions as well. Uh, the same two arrows come up as they do if you were to shorten a video clip. So just do it the same way, you just click it and drag it to shorten it however much you want it shortened. And uh, that will uh, shorten the time that it takes the videos to transition from one to the next. Um, if you notice, below the um, video there is also an audio transition. Some of them have uh, audio transitions which uh, blends the audio from the two videos together. Um, some of them do not. So uh, you can just go through and find them. Uh, this arrow, you can go here to the specific audio ones that only work with audio. So if you were to uh, delete this transition, 
you can take this and just put it in the audio section of your video instead of uh, going between both the video and audio and then uh, when you do that it automatically adds a simple fade effect to the video too so that's how that works if you wanted to add one to the beginning you would just uh, simply do the same thing like I said before just uh, snap it to the beginning of your video and you can shorten it down and then you would have a effect like this Let's see that was pretty quick so we can make it really long too so now you can see that it takes much longer for it to uh, go through the effect so uh, it's it's pretty simple actually to add transitions to your videos you can do the same uh, with any of these all of these transitions uh, work the same way you can uh, add one at the end of your video to have like a closing to your video instead of just having it uh, go black so uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, click right here to go to my next tutorial about Cyberlink PowerDirector 10 and click right here to learn about titles so thanks a lot for watching I appreciate it and I will see you later Close and work together. Um, when you're finished, go up here to the Save Project button and click it.